so the lake's ice is breaking up finally. It's a good sign. I mean, it just kind of means that everything's starting to finally thaw out on the lake. And I notice it when I come down here. There's a good breeze coming off the lake. You kind of get really fucked. Doesn't look like the walkway out to. I think it's called Chief Commander. Is open yet? Don't even really see anyone in the park, really. Yeah, gates closed still. Well, we're in a balclava right now, and the fucking cloth is poking me in the goddamn eye. I gotta head back towards uh, Trout Lake. I'm not supposed to ride a bicycle on the road. Fuck. Or sorry, no, I'm supposed to ride it on the sidewalk. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's the church bells, okay. And that guy just took forever, so I'll accept that. <laughs> I don't think she knows where she was going. But, uh, I'm just gonna have to accept that it's gonna be cold for the next week or so. Chances of snow. And I'm gonna need to ride in the cold if I wanna get some riding in. is a serious uh, itch I've been having. Especially since I watch people in warmer climates ride year round. Or hell, I watch Spicy 110 who doesn't live in a really that much warmer climate and he rides year round. I wish I could do that here. There's a point when minus 40 gets to be too fucking cold. And you just can't fucking do it. No, that's a lie. Uh, broken tooth. Uh, he does it. He did it this year too. I follow his uh, Facebook page. And he drove from where he lives. I forget where it is. I think it's outside Oshawa or something like that. It's in the south of Ontario. Up to North Bay. And camped out on the frozen lake. Fucking nutty bastard. Like, I don't think I can think of anyone who is as nutty as Broken Tooth. Look at Broken Tooth. Was, I think it was the first time he did his uh, usual winter ride. He went out from southern Ontario to Fort Severn, which is about as far north in Ontario as you can get. And at one point, his eyeball fucking froze over. And that's just brutal, man. Like, could you imagine? Just sitting there and your eyeball just fucking freezes over while you're riding down the road on your bike. Oh, this kid thinks he's a gangster. Look at him. Just fuck. I can't. I don't know if you can tell. He's. Just, just look at him. He's got the gangster lean in his fucking car going. A flat beat camp. With a sticker on it. Oh my god. Boy, he's got a fucking fart can on there, too. I apologize in advance for any wind noise I may leave in the vlog. But I don't get any choice in this matter. At this point, I'd like to point out that I wouldn't be wearing uh, as much gear as I am if I wasn't planning on staying out for as long as I am. Because this jacket has a liner, the fucking 
long johns underneath are giving me super fucking toasty. I don't know what it is, but at the start of the season, my hand always fucking cramps up. It's fucking ridiculous. And then towards the middle of the season, my hand isn't so crampy. I might be developing some sort of fucking carpal tunnel or something like that, maybe, I don't know. It's pretty fucking bad though. <laughs> I might need an automatic at some point. Oh god, no. That, that's terrible. I just want to get a Can-Am, fuck. I really hope that my hand does like stop cramping up after a little bit. Part of it too could be the cold temperature. I mean, cold temps do kind of not help with the whole situation. I seriously think it's mostly because I spend like six months not using this hand for operating a clutch. And clutches feel pretty fucking heavy at the start of the season for me.